Thank you. Melvin Gary Crutchett. Thank you. I'd like to start off with a little riddle. How many gold medals do you have to win before you're allowed to enjoy a bong hit at a friend's house? We don't know yet. They said Michael Phelps can't go swimming for three months because he smoked pot. I think that's kind of strict. I mean, I understand you shouldn't go in the pool 30 minutes after you eat. But what kind of munchies did they think he was going to get off that? And then Kellogg's dropped him as a sponsor. And I was like, excuse me? A cereal company is punishing somebody for smoking pot? Um, Kellogg's, isn't that kind of biting the hand that feeds you a little bit? Who do you think eats cereal? I'm pretty sure it's just children and people that are too wasted to make toast. And back home, the parents, they're like all mad. They're all up in arms. They're like, well, Michael Phelps set a bad example for my children. No, he didn't. He just set a really good example for pot. And now you don't know what to say to your kids. And understandably, it's a little awkward. You're like, Timmy, don't smoke pot. Otherwise, you could become the greatest Olympian athlete ever <laughs> in the history of the world. I wish people wouldn't get so mad so easy. Like, I have this problem where, like, I'll text a joke or I'll email, try to email a joke, or maybe I'll tweet a twoosh on the Twitter, and then the people, they tweet me back or they text me back, they don't get the joke, and they're like, what the hell is that supposed to mean? You got a fucking problem or something? Like, yes, I do have a problem. We all have a problem. It's too hard to convey tone in digital communication. <laughs> and we can solve this problem so easy. All we need are some new fonts. We'll solve the whole problem. Like, what's this say? Great party, Arch. Best party ever. Psh, what a dick. How do you know he wasn't being sincere, Arch? Because he wrote it in Sarcastica. <laughs> And if he'd have enjoyed himself, he would have used Good Times Roman. <laughs> Thank you. I love technology, though. Love it! I don't even go to the doctor anymore, thanks to the internet. I just go to this website called WebMD.com and just punch in my symptoms. A uh, sharp pain in the lower abdomen. Bam! Instant diagnosis! No more dicking around, spending all day going to make a doctor's appointment, sitting around the waiting room, talking to a doctor, spending all kinds of money and time. Because thanks to WebMD.com, I'm already taking steps to treat my swollen uterus. And I'm feeling better every day. Getting kind of sick of cranberry juice, though. I want everyone to relax about the environment. Everyone's coming up to me half in tears. Arch, what about global warming? What about climate change of the planet? And everybody's convinced that the Earth has a problem because it's so hot. But how come I don't hear a single intelligent individual, aside from myself, <laughs> suggest the seemingly obvious possibility that the Earth is just fine, thank you. But there's something wrong with the sun! Because I'm not a scientist, but I'm pretty sure that son of a bitch is where all the heat's coming from. And all I'm saying is, when I burn my toast, I don't blame the bread. Thank you very much, good night.